You listen. How dare you do that to me? No, you listen. Sharing a bed with me does not guarantee you the passport to meddle in my business. The same business that used my name to launder money in. Calm down. Give me time to explain myself. I only did that to save your reputation. What are you talking about? I got a tip off that the boxing board was going to disrupt your, 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 your little event. Because one, you are not a licensed boxing promoter. Two, you are not a licensed boxing manager. So you could have told me in private than to ambush me in front of everybody. Tiny Trudy, undefeated, all the way from the Gunutak Cape. What a lousy fighter you are. <laughs> Imagine, she only gets to fight great boxers because of her late father's name. Can you watch how you talk about my father, Amber? Atase, why Chima Kubaba was daddy wanga niwa champion? Why Chima Kubaba? Chima Kubaba. Chima Kubaba. Ladies, 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 ladies. You are my inspiration, Amber. You are my inspiration. I knew you were such a coward. That is girl. Even your father would be ashamed of you. Sir, is there something you're not telling us what happened that day between you and David Imbeu? I don't understand your question. You are here to forfeit your title that you uh, won from the fight and you are proposing to fund the injured boxers. That's too much guilt if the fight would be fair, no? So what you are saying is that I killed him deliberately? You tell us, did you kill David Imbebe? Mr. Mahus. I thought that I came to a boxing boat. It seems that I've come to a police station instead. My sincere apologies. Coach, commit a crime. 